I think the ash always has something practice changing. Um, and this year, it will be probably the candle trial um, establishing DERA, Carfilzomab DEX as a new center of care. Um, there are other very interesting trial updates. For example, for the Maya trial establishing Daratumumab, uh, Lenalidomide DEX in frontline treatment, the ASH also established always trends. Um, here we see a lot of discussion regarding the quadruple treatment in frontline, so combining antibody, proteasome inhibition, immunomodulation, and dexamethasone. And it's the platform for the innovations. Um, there is nothing really, really new. There is one very interesting uh, bispecific antibody um, construct uh, which will be presented. There are more consolidating data on CAR T cells. There's now the immunoconjugate, which established it a bit more. So we generate some substantial data and we generate also data to better understand why some treatments fail or why patients relapse or how can we keep more durability in responses. So I think uh, we have in many aspects and on many levels um, very interesting data we see here. It will be the, the huge phase three trials which directly translate in approval, like the Deratumumab, Carfilzomab, DEX. There will be confirming data, for example, for the pomalidomide, bortezomib, DEX combination. So um, that what, what is presented here um, translates to Europe, although we have a different situation. Uh, but also, the European authorities, um, the boards, um, everyone, the physicians, everyone is looking overseas at the time of ASA. We are working so close that I would think that we directly can translate what we see here in our daily practice when we return. <laughs> <laughs>